I wanted to build a three-point hitch for my cub. I've got other tractors that use three-point implements and I wanted to be able to use them here. I also wanted to keep the open center for cultivating. I don't want to have to take everything on and off. I want something that's quick. So this is what I came up with. I'll show it to you. Um, this blue bar here stays on the tractor. I don't remove it. It just goes through this uh, bracket here. It is supported here for to, to keep it from pulling and rotating. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull this off and show you how quickly you can change it over to a cultivator. Under this other lynch pin, pull this out. I built this inch and a quarter and seven eighths, I believe, two holes in it. This comes quickly off. The water slips back in. And that's it. I won't show the other side. So the parts are category one parts. I just removed these uh, cultivator brackets and replaced them with the brackets for a fast hitch because it's a lot stronger. And I got the parts here, the lift arm linkage and the lift arm itself off of Amazon. And well, I'll go ahead and show you the movement. So, the only thing to watch out for is this distance right here is about five inches center to center so that the uh, third point, which comes up right under this lift arm, so it doesn't hit. If it's too high, it's going to hit there. And everything else, you just take a measurement off of it and drill what you need to and and build it up. You can build this with a, using a lathe, a drill press, a welder, and a grinder. Because when these arms came, the, li the lift arm linkage, they had a little shoulder right here, and it, it wouldn't swing sideways far enough. So I just ground that off, and now it's got good movement. And that's it. This, uh, this three-point hitch feels good and solid. I've used it with a big middle buster and a three-point uh, one of those cultivators, the, the C-Tine cultivators. Uh, it's good and solid. Very simple to build.